Good morning, squad. This is an unclassified brief where we will be, where our mission is to conduct a squad ambush on an enemy squad moving north into this area. We're conducting this mission to um, continue our command and control of the area, our U.S. forces control area. We will initiate this mission by um, moving from our, our patrol base to our rally point right here. Doing this, I will be leaving the Gatwa with our platoon leader. Um, this Gatwa will entail um, where we're going. We are going to conduct an ambush in this objective area. Um, I am taking with me my squad, third squad, attached gun team of three personnel, and um, two AT force, making that 14 total personnel. Um, we will turn by 1300, at roughly an hour after our, um, after our ambush is, is planned to be conducted. Um, what happens if I do not return in time? Um, you will radio me once every 10 minutes for 30 minutes, and then if I still do not respond, I report to hire. If we receive contact, we will break contact and bound back to you at our patrol base. If you all receive contact, we will return to you to, a, to assist you all in anything that you all need. Um, so we're moving roughly 150 meters to our rally point here which is at, at the top of the hilltop, kind of on the side, trying to be like away from the side of our ambush area. Here we'll construct our rally point. Um, from there, I will leave and conduct leaders recon and establish security. I'll leave a got with the Bravo team leader, pretty much saying that we're going to go conduct leaders recon, recon the area, establish strong site, weak site security. Um, for that, I'm taking my leaders recon element of me, the AG, Alpha Automatic Rifleman and Alpha and Bravo Rifleman. Then I'll stay in security teams of strong security Alpha Team Leader and Alpha AT4, and then Alpha Grenadier and Alpha Rifleman. Um, we'll return in 45 minutes and not return in 45 minutes. Wait 15 minutes. I still have not returned. Um, conduct bounding overwatch to the assault area already pre established and check from there. If I'm not there, return to the patrol base. Um, if we receive contact, we're going to break contact bound back to you. We're going to move return to the patrol base. If you guys receive contact, you will return to the patrol base and we will return quickly after you. For leaders recon, we're gonna move down to the assault line. We're going to establish where the assault line is with everyone, including strong side security and weak side security. Then we're, we're all gonna move over to strong side security where we're gonna set them up, set up their Claymore 2, which will be controlled by the Alpha Team Leader. This Claymore will be used for containment. Then we're gonna create or establish our pace plan of our 550 core, going from strong side security to the squad leader position of weak side, or at the assault position, so they can be in constant communication about um, when the enemy passes phase line identified. Then we're gonna set up another 550 core pace plan from the squad leader position all the way over to weak side security. And um, yeah, leaders recon, recon will help establish them, we'll leave them there. Leaders recon will all return here. The AG and squad leader will establish the assault line and where our sport by fire line, how everything's going to be set up in there, where exactly we're going to establish our claymores, where our phase line is going to be, where our LOA is, um, sections of fire based on target reference points, and um, yeah, then our rates of fire and going into the very bit, bit of logistics of it, but I'll explain whenever we bring the squads, the squad up. Then Leaders Recon will return to the light point. I will grab my assault element and move them over to the assault line. I'll set them up into two assault teams. Assault 1 being me, led by me, the squad leader, will consist of Bravo Rifleman and Alpha um, Automatic Rifleman. Assault 2 will consist of the Bravo team leader, Bravo Automatic Rifleman, and Bravo Grenadier. Then here, after we establish the line, we're going to set up Claymore 2, which will be ran by me, the squad leader, and Claymore 3 at the end of the kill zone, made for containment, which will be ran by the AG at the support line. Also failed to mention that the AG is going to move his support element over here and set them up on the support line, how we discussed over Leaders Recon. Um, yeah, and after setting up the Claymores, moving back to the assault positions, we're going to set sectors of fire. For the support by fire section, they're going to be from target reference points 1, which is at the end of this green patch right here, to target reference point 3, which is at the end of the curved road, pretty much taking over the entire area. with. Um, the AD4 planning to take out the CSK and the M240 conducting sustained rates of fire on the crew serves and then enemy personnel. Then for the assault line, we have assault two. It's gonna be between target reference point three and target reference point two, which is at the bottom of this green patch right here, right before this open patch. And then assault one will be from target reference point two to target reference point one, pretty much cutting the kill zone in half between the two teams. Then after that, we're going to talk about what's going to happen with the enemy approach and how we're going to conduct contact. 
Then the enemy's going to approach from north south on this road. Just when they pass P identified, we're going to use the pace plan of 554 between the Alpha team leader, Strong High Security, to our squad leader. Just when they pass that, they're going to prepare to get ready. Then just when the enemy passes phase line enter, these are assault and support will both um, prep for contact. And just when the main bulk of the enemy reaches um, phase line initiate, the squad leader will initiate the claymore. Right as that has happened, the AT4, if the CSK is in the ambush site or past TRP3, AT4 Bravo will fire upon it, immediately destroying it. Then M240 will fire upon the most dangerous cruiser and Madman will commence with the assault team. If the CSK is not past TRP3 yet, then um, Alpha AT4 will fire upon it and destroy it because there's a lack behind. And if that happens, security team quickly lays low because they are in trouble. And then Assault, um, assault 2 will shift fire to this area and support our security team. Um, after conducting a mad minute, we will listen for moans and groans. We will cease fire, listen for moans and groans for a minute. If there is nothing, or if there is something, we'll conduct a mad minute. But if there is nothing, um, squad leader will whistle to conduct support by fire to shift and lift fire, taking them out of the fight. So the assault element between our two teams can successively bound through the objective to the LLA. There is a stream here, so if the stream is too deep, we'll use that as our HP LOA. Um, just when we reach there, we'll conduct EPWs and aid and litter. EPW team being our Alpha Automatic Rifleman and our Bravo Rifleman. Aid and litter being our um, Bravo team leader and Bravo Grenadier. After that conducted, squad leader will commence um, exit plan red, where the assault element will successively bound back to the assault position, and the support element will be switching the M240 from um, tripod to bipod. Then squad leader will conduct exit um, procedure white, which is where the support by fire element will move back to the rally point. The assault element will begin to move back to the rally point. Also, EPW will be setting off, um, will be destroying all enemy weapon systems, demoing them. Right as they're leaving, squad leader will call for blue exit plan and also pull on the fight the cord from weak side security and strong side security to let them know that um, exit plan blue has commenced and all elements will turn back to the RP. At the RP, squad leader and team leaders at AG will conduct SW East, making sure that all soldiers, weapons, and um, equipment is up. After that, we'll move in a squad column fire team wedge, traveling uh, movement type back to the oh back to our patrol base and rejoin the platoon. That concludes my brief.